Dell is well known for their prosumer monitors, but few know that they also have professional monitors as well. Today, we have our hands on Dell's UltraSharp Premier Color 31.5 inch 4K HDR IPS monitor. Dell's Premier Color monitor is a VESA Display 1000 certified HDR display that features 2000 local dimming zones for amazing contrast levels. The monitor ship's calibrated to cover 99.8% of the DCI-P3 color space and 93% of Adobe RGB, but can be calibrated to meet your needs using its built-in Kalman colorimeter or an external colorimeter of your choice via a dedicated USB port. Today, we're going to put this monitor's HDR capabilities to the test with some footage of my Bugatti Chiron. Before we dive too deep into how we set up this monitor, let's go over some basic specs. The Dell UltraSharp Premier Color is a 31.5 inch display that earns a VESA Display 1000 certification because it's a 1000 nit 10 bit UHD display with a million to one dynamic contrast ratio. For those unfamiliar with VESA Display certification, it's an open standard that measures brightness, contrast, color reproduction, and more to quantify the performance of HDR displays. VESA has several display certification levels. However, the Display 1000 certification is the minimum requirement for color grading HDR video because it means a monitor is capable of accurately depicting images that require up to a thousand nits of brightness. If you'd like to know more about the specifics of their tests, visit displayhdr.org where you can read all 80 pages of their testing guidelines. Or let us know in the comments below if you want us to create a video highlighting some of the key points. Dell's Premier Color Monitor ships factory calibrated for 99.8% of the DCI-P3 color space, 93% of Adobe RGB, and 83% of Rec 2020. These specs are impressive by themselves, but what sets this monitor apart from more affordable consumer counterparts is the fact that this monitor features a built-in Kalman colorimeter, a dedicated port for using external colorimeters, and the ability to store these calibrations in the monitor itself. The monitor is incredibly self-sufficient. Whether you're in the studio, office, or on set, the monitor always has what it needs to produce reliable, accurate colors. Dell's partnership with Kalman ensures the monitor has an incredibly reliable colorimeter built right into the display, and one of the most intuitive interfaces for setting up this calibration. If you feel more comfortable using an external colorimeter, the monitor has a dedicated USB port for colorimeters. Just be aware that the colorimeter port only works for colorimeters. It does not work for anything else. There are other USB ports for normal computer accessories. For our test, however, we use the built-in colorimeter. I set up the monitor in Rec 2020 color space with the ST2084 gamma and set the target luminance for 1000 nits. Creating my own custom calibration parameters was refreshingly straightforward. The menu is easy to navigate and clearly laid out. After the monitor warms up, the colorimeter pops out of the monitor and flips up into position and displays a percentage meter to track its progress. When complete, it shows you the results. You can also check your previous results at any time or run a test to verify your results when needed. When the calibration is complete, I just needed to navigate the color spaces menu and select it to get started. As a side note, Dell also includes an option to assign color spaces to inputs meaning that if you are primarily working in Rec 2020 or DCI-P3 for video, but need Adobe RGB for photography work on a second computer, you can assign the corresponding color space to the input so that you don't need to manually switch back and forth. Dell's UltraSharps are generally very easy monitors to work with, and this one is no exception. The stand pivots left and right, rotates the monitor 90 degrees, tilts back and forth, and raises up and down to adjust to your favorite work orientation. The monitor features two HDMI 2.2 ports, one Display Port, one Thunderbolt 3 Upstream and one Thunderbolt 3 Downstream port, two USB 3.2 ports, and one dedicated colorimeter USB port. We connected the Premier Color to our computer using an HDMI cable and Blackmagic's Intensity Pro 4K Capture Playback card to get the video signal straight out of DaVinci Resolve, bypassing Windows Color Management, and connected a second display for navigating the computer. Now, as we get into HDR color grading, it's important to remember that this video you are watching right now is graded for standard dynamic range, so I can't truly reproduce what I see on the monitor but trust me when I say that the difference is very stark. The image from the Premier Color is beautiful, 
We shot the Bugatti dark on purpose to see how well the monitor renders black levels, and its 2000 dimming zones did not disappoint. OLED panels are naturally better at producing contrast because they can turn individual pixels on and off, but thanks to 2000 dimming zones, the Premier Color performs extremely well despite being an IPS LED panel. I felt comfortable grading dark footage because there's very minimal light leak between dark and bright areas. Obviously, if you have white text on a black background, you're going to see some light leak because 2000 dimming zones can only go but so far. However, even in this extreme scenario, it's not distracting unless you're specifically looking for it. As for brightness, calibrating the monitor for 1000 nits made a huge difference in the image quality. The monitor that we use for controlling the software was set up for standard dynamic range, so every time I looked back and forth between monitors, I was constantly reminded of how much of a difference it makes to have 1000 nits of brightness. Most monitors are simply not bright enough or don't have enough dimming zones to create HDR masters, even if they claim they're able to display HDR. The Premier Color can accurately display the brightest and darkest parts of the image thanks to its excellent dynamic contrast ratio and dimming zones. Dell's UltraSharp Premier Color 31.5 inch is not a new monitor. It's been out for a few years now, but unlike its more affordable prosumer counterpart, it has not been replaced by newer models that feature incremental improvements. And that's because this monitor is a tool designed to meet industry standards and caters to professionals who need to use it. It's safe to call this monitor overkill for hobbyists or enthusiasts interested only in premium image quality. Gamers will find the 8 millisecond refresh rate too slow for fast paced first person shooters. Enthusiasts who want the best cinematic experiences will enjoy the accurate colors and amazing contrast ratio, but are unlikely to take advantage of the features that make this monitor so expensive, such as the ability to swap color spaces or calibrate the monitor on a regular basis. Professionals, on the other hand, that need to maintain their monitor's accuracy will be relieved to know that they can schedule the monitor to calibrate on a regular basis, check the results from their last calibration at a moment's notice, or verify their monitor's results when needed with an easy-to-navigate menu that is built into the monitor. Dell's UltraSharp Premier Color is an excellent investment for broadcast and other video professionals who need a reference monitor for HDR content creation. What are your thoughts on Dell's UltraSharp Premier Color 31.5 inch 4K HDR IPS monitor? Do you own your dream car? Or at least a model of it? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Jabari with B&H. Have a stupendous day.